Hey everybody, how's it going? Rockley Smile here. I hope you're doing okay, and I hope you can pardon my very weird, smeary-looking camera. I, I don't really know what's going on with that, but I didn't want to make any more excuses. I wanted to make a channel update for you all, because I haven't talked to you directly here on YouTube, and I don't know, it's been way too long. Um, I've got some good news, I've got some middling news, I've got news, I guess is what I wanted to say. And I had a day today where I actually felt kind of normal, and I, I know that sounds like a really strange thing to say, but I have uh, a lot of fatigue issues, and my mental health has been not very good. So some days when I actually feel like kind of myself, uh, it makes me want to do a whole bunch of things and to try and like establish some sort of positive cycle toward normalcy. Uh, you know, if you don't suffer from this stuff, don't worry about it. It's just I'm saying that things went okay today, so I'm, kinda, I'm happy, I'm jazzed about it, and I wanted to talk to you all uh, and try and set up some things toward making those things even better, if possible. So, as you might have known, uh, over the winter, Lynn and I have gotten engaged, and I'm going to be moving over to Ireland at some point in the near future. I don't know exactly when. Um, I'm still waiting on the Irish government. I'm supposed to go over there and have a an interview, and then I can actually begin the process. Um, so there's still some wiggle room in terms of when that's all going to happen. And um, Well, it was actually te technically it was supposed to probably happen closer to like May, but COVID, right? <laughs> that's kind of the way everything goes. COVID is, uh, is a problem all the time. And well, traveling and all of the other things, getting people at a governmental administrative level to get involved with things is also um, difficult. So anyway, I'm not saying that to bemoan at all. It's fine. Uh, you know, things are going to take as long as they're going to take, I suppose. But uh, I wanted to let you know because it's a big new leaf for me. It's a big change. You know, I've been in this same room um, <laughs> for pretty much as long as you've seen me here on YouTube. And that's actually finally going to move uh, to a new place. So I'm very much excited about that. I'm a little bit apprehensive, but only as insofar as my anxiety is a problem. I'm extremely excited to do this, but it's also, like, a lot. Um, and then you pair that up with COVID and all the worries about all the things that are going on, you know, government-wise and all of the things that have been going on in my personal life and all the things that have been going on health-wise uh, in other ways. It's just all, uh, well, it's resulted in me not really accomplishing a whole lot in the last year, and I'm probably pretty sure I'm not the only one that feels kind of that way. Uh, but it's been worse than I think even I would have expected by my own standards. So, of course, apologies for that. Um, I want to do better. I can do better. And I wanted to say to those that are still subscribed to the channel, you know, I owe you, uh, because that's pretty awesome that you've stayed through all of this downtime and potentially content you're not interested in and all kinds of stuff that has just kind of washed past. Um, I want to give you a good reason to have stuck around through all of that, and that is what I have in the works for you all. So if you can, stick on just a little bit longer, and I'm, I'm going to try my best. So I've taken some steps for that new beginning, you know, and, and I've actually, you know, done some work toward that now, uh, which I don't know exactly when I'm going to reveal it, but I'll let you know when that happens, of course. And uh, I wanted to kind of explain, too, I think the reason why I've been so down about, like, posting content and being more proactive, uh, I've just gotten myself into a terrible negative spiral. And this is kind of hard to explain necessarily, but, like, so every time when I go to post a new video on YouTube, and it's kind of the same when I go on Twitch to so look at my dashboard, and it's kind of the same when I go on Twitter, and my whole world is dashboards filled with down red arrows. And that has become sort of triggering to me, and I know some people hate using that word, but it, it does make me sort of recoil a little bit every time when I look at my stats of whatever it is, and I go, oh my god, like, what am I doing? And then I get really down on myself, and then get really depressed, and I don't know how to break that cycle sometimes. Like, I, I do know how, but it's not something that I always seem to have the mental fortitude um, or, like, literally physical ability to sometimes be able to do. Because as I said, today I've, I've felt kind of good, so I've been able to just sit and do things for hours. But a lot of the time, my day consists of, like, waking up, getting some food, and then being out of energy by the afternoon. And then I just have to, like, go back 
laying down again. Like, that's not a normal day, obviously, but that's where I'm at. Um, so I need to get out of that, obviously, and I need to turn it around. And I think uh, what really has been difficult for me to try and break some of that habit is it's just been such a long tail of negativity. Like... Since I left the NLSS, there's been people that I think have kind of vestigially followed from that. And it's just been every time I post a YouTube video, I'll see like a hundred less followers or a hundred less subscribers on that. And then I'll go, why do I even want to do this? Why am I posting anything? But the truth is, that'll eventually end. I just don't know how long it's going to take. But I was sort of artificially inflated from doing all of that. And my viewership has never really been representative of, you know, my channel, I guess. It's always been a sort of combination of other people filtering through and coming and going. Um, and so I just kind of had to bear through whatever amount of time that's going to take to get to where it is. And I think to get to the real viewership that's still here, you know, potentially you guys that actually sat and watched this video, uh, I just have to kind of just throw myself into the gauntlet of that and I've just been too worried you know about what could happen if I find out that actually I am all washed up you know all of the the good times are behind I don't want to think that way and I shouldn't because it's really overly negative and it's not really realistic either um, usually the reality is between the two situations it's not usually overly amazing and it's not usually terrible um, but yeah anxiety does tend to provoke that kind of thought process and uh, all of the real tangible worries that have been going on that I can point to as evidence for worry have definitely contributed toward that um, sort of paranoid, worried state. So I know I can do better, and uh, I owe it to you guys to do better, because a lot of you have been around for like a decade, which is ridiculous to say. I mean, it's, it's not ridiculous that you've been around for a decade. I'm extremely thankful for that. But it's, uh, it's humbling, and it's hard to understand that someone has been affected to such a degree that they would potentially listen to you or care what you say for that long of a period of time. Um, and obviously I've done things by not really posting to sort of show that I don't care about that, and that's not true, but my own head is a mess. So if you've ever taken that message from me, I apologize. It's not been what I've intended. Um, it's a bit of a slurry in there right now. It's just, it's brain fog, it's confusion, it's like inability to speak clearly sometimes. I've already had to delete about 20 takes on this. <laughs> but I am where I am now, and I need to just kind of like let it go sometimes. And it's okay to sometimes be vulnerable. I know it's not really uh, something that is often rewarded on the internet. A lot of times being vulnerable is the last thing you want to do. Uh, especially because you feel vulnerable, other people tend to pick up on that and then use it. You kind of use it to just you know, rake you over the coals, but yeah, it's just what needs to be done, I think. The opposite, or the other option instead of being vulnerable, is to just clam up more and not say anything. And where does that really get us? But um, I mean, I've even been having trouble Twitch streaming lately, and that tends to have been the easier thing to do. Um, I guess the idea of it being sort of non-committal live content where you just hit a button, you can just kind of talk. It, like, it doesn't feel like you have to necessarily say everything you want to say perfectly, clearly, and concisely. There's always time to address what you've said and, you know, fix things in that way. Whereas when you record for YouTube, it tends to be very cut and dry. Um, you want to hit your points as concisely as possible and cut, and then you move on. Um, so I've, I've tended to favor the Twitch format a little bit more in the last few years. And I've never not wanted to do YouTube, but it became almost necessary because of how little YouTube paid and then the added pressure of it and then the schedule of it. And, uh, it, well, you get the idea. But, yeah, enough excuses. I think you get what I'm trying to say. Um, I want to kind of turn over a new leaf. I don't have an exact time timeline for this but as i said before i think like in the next six months hopefully things will really kick off uh once i get over to ireland and things start to stabilize a little bit i think my mental state will go to a much better place i mean honestly i'm i miss seeing lynn i haven't seen her in a year and a half plus um 
and we've been dating for six years and and to not see somebody for like a sixth of that is is wild and even you know in the midst of before covid like we only ever got to see each other at most two times a year and that takes a toll on you mentally just by itself you know having a loved one that you basically exclusively communicate through discord and and that uh, it's not the best and it's all very isolating i mean even without covid it was isolating and then take covid and a year later um it's just yeah it's a lot of the same waking up in a box going to sleep in that box again and well i'm getting very sad sounding now that was not my intention when i started this video um <laughs> i'm actually optimistic even though i tend to go back to that same place it's just we got to turn that corner that's what's going to happen and it's going to get better and I hope if you're suffering in some similar way that you're, you know, feeling isolated and lonely and, you know, you can't really get a hold of yourself, you don't feel like yourself anymore, I want you to know that you're, you're not alone in that. Um, we're, a lot of us are together in that struggle. And uh, if you do feel that way, I mean, feel free to reach out. I can certainly relate. You can chat with me on the Discord if you like. Um, I'm sorry you've been feeling that way, and I know how hard it is. So, we just got to stick through a little longer. I think things are finally going to get better soon. It's just taken us to have to go to a really, really dark place to come back out of it. Um, so, I think that's what I needed to get off my chest. I hope that you understand where I'm coming from here, and that I'm not trying to be intentionally overly negative or anything. It's just reframing my worldview, I suppose, uh, and looking forward to a much better, you know, more prosperous, productive future. That's what I want. That's what I want for myself. That's what I want for everybody, if we can get there. So, thank you for listening. Uh, I hope this wasn't too heavy. I mean, I know this is kind of like a, a topic that I do tend to cover fairly regularly. I'm, I'm kind of open about this type of thing. And maybe a few of you understand that's kind of that's one of the things that I tend to bring to this content creator thing. I just, that I'm okay to just talk openly about this and I don't feel like I have to necessarily be this polished glossy veneer for you all um, leave that to other people I suppose I'll just be real but thank you for listening I hope to see you again very soon and uh, well keep your eyes and ears open uh, whether that be here on YouTube or on Twitter uh, I will let you know with any future developments, and there will be future developments. So again, thank you for those that have stuck around for all this time. Uh, I really do appreciate all that you've done for me and, and to be able to allow me to continue, you know, paying my bills and, and just being able to talk about games. That's what I want to get back to, more of that. All right, thanks very much, guys. I'll talk to you next time.